Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Bitcoin hasn't really moved today. That was completely in line with our expectations. And yes, sideways is also a direction. So I highlighted to you earlier today that we can, well, with pretty clear certainty, expect this wave four in which we currently are to play out over the weekend. So we don't expect too much uh, movement typically on a Saturday that often goes in line with a wave four correction because wave fours are typically very, very boring. Yeah, and it seems like we indeed are in the wave four. So what is the count? The count is basically unchanged. I'm now primarily follow this count, actually. Um, we still have the other one, which was, let me see, I have that somewhere. I need to change it on my main chart um, for, for channel members because um, um, I still have, I still have this particular scenario two actually on another chart. So the um, <clears throat> Bitcoin Coinbase chart, yeah. So the um, count I'm going to show you now is actually, it, it basically has become the alternative chart. Internet very slow here at the moment. Um, and you hear the dog in the background. Um, just takes a while, takes a while to... Okay, so what I mean is if I zoom in now, and yes, internet is slow, but there it appears. So if we look at this wave two correction here, yeah, this is currently what I observe as alternative count. Yeah, I did have it as primary before. Um, all, the, all the other counts have disappeared from the chart. I don't know. Oh yeah, there you go. Just internet today. Um, yeah, we are coming down here, obviously. And in this scenario, I had a WXY. And in this Y wave, the idea was that we're in, a, in an ABC and in the C wave, basically that one, two setup so that we get one more low, one more high, one more low. However, I've changed it and I made you aware to this count um, in which we basically expect only one more low. It just fits better generally into the market at the moment. It seems to be the more likely chart. However, I also have to say something to you. Um, sometimes we just don't get this last low. Yeah, Bitcoin likes to do uh, sometimes just three waves down and then you would call it uh, just a larger W x y and then you have here your a b c that's it that's why i don't normally wait for the last low personally if i want to be in a trade i don't wait for the last low i give the trade a bit more space i size down that enables me to give the trade a bit more space and we know that bitcoin and that's necessary because bitcoin likes to do wxy's it is never the primary expectation because it's not the majority of movements but but it is decent probability and we have to consider WXY patterns, which means we might not get that fifth wave down. It is just what it is, okay? And it's technically possible for Bitcoin to turn to the upside here. It would, however, be a very, very shallow correction. Yeah, because we consider the move up here in a wave one or as a wave one, which peaked in April, the move down as a wave two, um, typically, you want a wave two to reach at least the 50% retracement at 25.3k that wasn't reached yet. Also, in light of that knowledge that we have, we um, primarily expect here another low. But that's why, but, but knowing that Bitcoin can turn around early because Bitcoin likes to do WXYs, commodities, for example, don't like to do WXYs. So we need to know, we need to have that experience with the market. Um, that's why I give you that resistance. So if we assume we are now in the C wave, we have that one, two, three done, and we're now in the fourth wave. Oops, we know that in the wave four, resistance is between 26,746 and 27,820. Somewhere here, price should turn around to the downside again. We have the ideal target for a fourth wave at the 27,340 level. That's the 38.2 retracement. And then we've got the 50% level up there. A break above 27,821 would be a first early indication that an overall low has been made for Bitcoin. Yeah, It's the first indication. Um, not confirmation, but the first indication. I would then really need to see a break above the B wave, uh, sorry, that uh, wave five high to confirm that we really already are in a third wave. But if someone's looking for the first early indication, that's here, breaking above that level. But as long as we stay below that level, primary expectation is another low. Just know that it can always turn around early, which is why I added a first position yesterday. 
a little lower than where we are today. A tiny position though, yeah? Um, giving it more space uh, in case it goes down. So obviously having cash on the side, scaling in as we go lower, and then ideally waiting for the turn around. So that's also a reason why I don't normally consider volume. A few people ask me, do you consider volume in the analysis? No, because I like to trade pullbacks. I buy when the price pulls back. That typically, typically has from a trading point of view, from a success rate point of view, a lower success rate than, for example, waiting for a signal. But if you wait for a signal, then you don't get the best price and your reward to risk is lower and you typically have to position down. Oh, sorry, uh, yeah, your position size needs to be smaller than in a pullback trade. The reason is, of course, because your stop loss level has to be much lower where the invalidation point is. So, you know, that's always... And, and volume is normally dead in a pullback. Yeah, I mean, at the moment, we don't see much volume. Um, where's volume? It's typically dead in a pullback. Uh, I don't know where it is should normally appear somewhere, might be related to the internet. But anyway, um, volume is typically dead in a pullback only when we then really rally in a third wave. That's when volume comes in. Volume is very useful for breakout traders, in my opinion, not so useful for uh, pullback traders. It, it eventually depends on the strategy, right? Um, so waiting for volume to confirm a move is basically like, uh, yeah, waiting for price to run away before you wanna get in. Because especially in crypto, volume typically is up when the price has already made a decent move, right? So we just need to consider that, okay. But yeah, that's basically my view about Bitcoin at the moment. Now it is gone completely, there you go. Um, oh yeah, <laughs> volume is here. Yeah, but volume is dead, there you can see. Uh, it's very low, so... Um, it's normal in a pullback. It's normally it's normal in a wave two pullback that volume is very low. When we then rally in the third wave after we found a bottom here, that is when volume really kicks in. But then price will have moved five percent, ten percent, maybe even fifteen percent already. All right, yeah, there's not much more to add. So I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.